Alrighty, and this is probably going to be our last matchup of the day, and we have to look at Jalen Hurts, folks. He's the starting quarterback this week for the Eagles. No more Carson Wentz. We have some good, um, some solid film on this man, about um, a quarter and a half of play. We've got uh, 12 passes. We have most of them queued up here. We also have some running attempts by him. Now, is he pulling the ball down too early? Should he be making throws? Is he trusting himself? Is he trusting his arm? Is he trusting his decision-making? So we'll check some of that out on some of the runs. We've got all of them queued up here, or most of his plays queued up here. Most of his passes are on one drive, so we don't have to skip around too much. Um, but yeah, we'll start it here. Um, we've got the 719, and I believe this is uh, his uh, first play, his actual first play here. Yeah, 719. So let's, th let's get this queued up. Comes in in the third quarter. Not after halftime, though. So they still try to stick with Carson Wentz, even coming after, um, coming out after half. They gave Carson Wentz that first drive. It does nothing. So then they bring in um, uh, Jalen Hurts for their second drive in the second half. So we'll start it here. This is 739. They do run the ball, but this is his first play in the game. It's a handoff. Get him, you know, comfortable. Get him, you know, it's the first play. So you're not going to, you know, bomb it down the field. Although that could have caught, you know, Green Bay off guard. But here it is. This is his first actual pass attempt. Here it is. Second and five. That looked to be maybe a setup screen to the right that he should have thrown this ball. Let's see. I mean, this handoff. And then everybody's kind of standing around. I don't know if he was supposed to throw that ball back to the right. Um, maybe not try to take this one to the left. It didn't pick up anything. So I think that may have been just kind of a blown play by him. Looks like it was trying to set up a screen to the right. And uh, he didn't make the pass. So not great there. Now we get third and four. Here we go. And wow, well done by the rookie. This is a beautiful ball, folks. Absolutely thrown to perfection. Notices he has the one-on-one -on -one matchup. There's no safety over the top, so I can just lay this one out as far as I want over the receiver for him to go and run over under it. The defender has no chance of making a play on this ball. That's a beautiful throw, folks. Holy cow. Carson Wentz isn't making that throw this season, at least. Um, he has made in his career here we go little um read option he keeps it once again doesn't really get anything let's see the coach's film on this play is he trusting himself is he trusting his arm we'll see if any play is open here and your receiver but he goes and runs the ball that's not the best play because it picks up nothing so we'll see if there's any receiver here open should he have thrown this ball let's find out Try to slow it down closer to the snap so they're not waiting all day on the slow motion. The slow motion is very slow, which I do appreciate. But uh, you try got to try and time it up. Oh, this is the second play. This is the last play of his beautifully thrown ball. Let's appreciate this one in slow motion. I mean, folks, look at this. I mean, maybe the one complaint, the one knock we'll say on this throw, just to say a knock on it, is that it's a little bit too inside. The ball started to drift inside a little bit. We'll see where this receiver is on this play. He's very much to the sideline, and you see him having to come back in just very slightly. I mean, it's very slight. It's subtle. It's not even a knock. It's more of a little note um maybe drift this one a little bit more toward the sideline so you you don't run him into where the defense is but other than that fantastic throw all right here it is uh we're not going to get a good angle on this oh this is a, the second angle from the play they do both angles all right so this is the play that is the read option where he keeps it let's see if there's any better throw to be made on this play or a throw at all because he runs it he keeps it all right so here it is. There's the fake. Now we can throw it. And he can tight it. I mean, this receiver is crossing right here. No, he's not. He's never ever crossing or ever showing. So right here. Right here is where the ball has to be thrown. This ball, this the receiver is getting behind this defender. This safety is a little late coming. He throws this ball right now. Get it over this defender. Probably more towards the 10-yard line where my mouse is going. If he throws the ball in this kind of area right here, this could be a touchdown. Um, I'm kind of surprised he never throws it. And look at kind of this defender. He's leveling off. So you have to throw this ball right here. And we know he runs out of bounds. So he has... Mm, 
uh, so much opportunity to throw this ball, but he never does. He still can throw it right now. This isn't too late to throw this ball. This isn't too late to throw this ball. You just need to make sure you get it over this defender by a lot. Um, make it overthrown or incatchable, but do make it so it gets over this defender. Still can throw it. Still kind of can throw it. He decides kind of to run it at this moment. So I think this is kind of a bad call here. I think he really should have thrown this ball. Not great by Jalen Hurts. Got to trust your arm here, kid. Got to trust your arm a little bit. All right, let's go back um, to the game film. So they pick up, uh, do they pick up the first? We got to go back a little bit here. I think we skipped a play. Or maybe not. Um, let's just uh, go here. Let's do it by the time. This was the big play. This is the run. All right, now we're back on track. All right. All right, so we saw one play in the coach's film. Probably should have thrown it. So let's see what we get here on second and 13. Run play. We'll skip this. Although it went for a lot. Well done. Well done. Picked up a big chunk, but it's coming back. It's coming back. All right, 504 is his next pass attempt, so it should be this play right here. Here we go. Let's see what we get here. It's either a run or a scramble. I grouped them all together because I wanted to see if he was making decisions based on, you know, what the defense was giving him or just some bad decisions. Once again, he's going to run and it really only picks up three. So let's take this one in the coach's film. Let's watch this one. I get he can move the ball with his legs. That's not the knock, but I want to see him trust his arm. Is he trusting his arm or is he not? Because if you're not trusting your own arm, Doug Peterson's not going to trust your arm. This uh, The defense is not going to respect the arm and just kind of play up. So if you're not trusting your arm, nobody is. So, yeah, it's open, folks. This is open, but he pulls it down and decides to run. This is wide open. We'll slow it down here. So you're getting this receiver coming across the field. He's just going to sit in the soft zone. Folks, it's open right now. This is where you throw it. Throw it right now. He's still in the clean pocket. He's looking to the left and to the middle of the field. He's not looking out to the right. And you can throw it out to the right too. There's multiple people open on this route. This is probably the best throw to make right here to the, to the boundary. This is another good throw right here. And he's becoming more and more open. Now it's really wide open. Now it's so wide open because this linebacker decides to pick this man up. And now it's wide open in the middle of the field. He doesn't decide to make the throw. And I get that the safety is playing that. But you throw it on the money. And the, the defender's not going to get there in time for the ball. So, yes, it's not going to pick up any yards after the catch. But you're still throwing it 15 yards down the field. And now he settles for a three-yard pickup. I don't know, man. I don't know if this is the right call to make the switch. I think he's missing on a lot of these throws instead of just pull in and instead is pulling it down and running. This is why I wanted to incorporate some of these runs that he had because now we can judge is he making the right decisions? Step up in the pocket, deliver a good ball, and go from there. Don't try to just pick up three yards when it's third and twenty two. All right, let's continue on here. When's his next pass? Um, his next pass is in, into the fourth quarter. So let's see this drive stall here. What do they do on third and 19? They run the ball. They don't pick it up. And they have to settle for a punt or a field goal. But they get rid of the ball regardless. So let's go to his next set of passes here. Um, coming now in the fourth quarter. Whoops. Uh, fourth quarter with 11 minutes. So we'll start here now. <clears throat> Philadelphia still only has three points. Not doing anything good. All right, here we go. Jalen Hurts back to pass. Has the time, all the time in the world, and then decides to take off now. This one did pick up 11 yards, so still a decent play overall. But the way this man dropped back, I think that there could be a throw open. So let's see it. Let's watch the coaches film on this play. Is he making the right decisions by... Oh, hang on, we got to skip forward to play. When you go from go coach's film to the to the broadcast film, you're, it usually go, brings you back a play. Not always quite as synced as I'd like it to be. Unfortunate. But here we go right here. This is the play. He drops back to pass. All right, let's see if anything's open here. 
All right, now, okay, yes, this is when you run the ball. Nothing was open here. This was covered all day. This was never open at all, and this really isn't open at all anyway. So, yes, now Car now um, he's making the right decision to tuck and run. I've got no problem with it here. This is fantastic, yes. Nothing was open on that play. 100% agree with the decision-making here on this play. Alrighty, is this the one we just saw? Steps up in the pocket. Yeah. All right. So that's a great that's a great call. Great run as well to pick up like eleven. All right. Let's see what we get on this play now. Does he throw the ball here? Once again, bailing out a little bit and decides to run. And he picks up twelve again. But just think about what the defense of Green Bay is playing here. They're up 20 points in the fourth quarter with only 10 minutes left. They're not getting beat deep. That's all they're doing. So, yes, they're allowing this man to take the 10-yard runs. That's why we saw it in their last drive in the third quarter. The runs got shut off very quickly because the defense was backing off a or the defense was pressing during that series because it was still kind of a game in the third quarter. Now it's the fourth quarter with 10 minutes left. A third of the game gone, a third of the quarter gone already. They don't have to really worry about too much of a comeback here. They're down 20 with 10 minutes so yes they're allowing this man to run a little bit so let's go in the coach's film on this play did he make the right call here let's find out we'll see these routes is anybody open the defense is giving him these runs so is the is everybody else kind of all right so they're going deep on these routes here Nothing is open. Nothing is open. Nothing is open. Now he escapes the pocket. Now he's kind of directing traffic a little bit. Hasn't made the point. Hasn't made the decision to run yet. So he can still pass it at this point if there's anything open. So far, everything is still covered. He makes the right decision again. But this is because the defense is giving him this. They're like, we're not letting you go deep. We're not letting you throw the ball. So... Um, this isn't too great here. This isn't too great. These are all just kind of give me yards. They're giving these, they're giving him these yards, folks. The game is over. They don't need the big shot. Run plays, get five, get seven, get 10 yards, but the clock will start. Will, the clock will keep running. You will still keep time off the clock. That's all Green Bay's looking for. Yes, drive, maybe get into field goal range. We'll give you three. We're trying not to give you 10. Um, we're just trying to make you eat up time on the field. So, all right, here we go. Does he throw it here? Tries to go in the middle of the field. Very, you know, tight, very not really open. Tries to force it in there. Unfortunately, it's incomplete. All right, second and 10 now. Drops back to pass. Launches this one. Decently thrown ball there. A little bit too much air under this ball, in my opinion. Maybe get it there a little bit quicker. Um, but still, good pass. It's a completion, so we give the man a little bit of credit. All right, third and four. Gotta pick this up. Gotta pick this up. Third and four. Let's see what he does. There it is. Wide open pass. Well done. Made the right read there. Love it. All right. Escapes the pocket. Going to take off on this one. We'll go to coach's film on this one. We'll see. Actually, let's see if anything's open kind of right off the rip here of what we can see. He's kind of go. He's running a double move. By this time, he's already feeling the pressure. So we don't even really need to go into coach's film on this one. All right, second and nine. Only picks up one yard on the run. Delivers a ball. Well, ah, oh, broken up. Good defense there. Well, well done by the defender to stick with the ball and kind of rip it out last second. Good throw there by Jason Hurts. Jalen Hurts, not Jason. My apologies. We'll get a good look here. Let's see how well this defense is played. Oh, yeah. I mean, he didn't even have his hands on it. Well done. That's a great That's great defense. I love watching great defense. What a great defensive play. All right, third and nine. We can go back on this one. Watch this one again. Um, let's see if he gets in bounds here. Let's see. Pass to the boundary. He's wide open. 
and he gets out of bounds. This is incomplete because Jalen Hurts, he got wide-eyed there. He saw he didn't set his feet. He had time to get this ball off, folks. I mean, there was nobody around this man. Uh, nobody around the receiver. Nobody really around the defender either. We'll watch this one again. I mean, folks, set your feet. You know, relax a little bit. I know pressure is coming and you have to get rid of it, but, you know, make a better throw here. Maybe the defense was piling on a little bit. Still got to rein that in a little bit. Got to rein it in. He's wide open. Pushes him too much to the boundary, and now we get fourth and nine. All right. Is this the last passing play by Jason Hurts that we see? Let's find out. Do they pick it up? Fourth and nine. Clean pocket. Very well done. Penalty as well. Pass interference on the defense. That looked like offensive pass interference to me. That looked like a push-off. <laughs> That looked like a push off to me, but they get bailed out. Oh no, they do. They do call it. They call it pass interference. I agree. Alrighty, here we go. Is this the last play? It's fourth and eighteen now. So he made a good pass on four or yeah, fourth and ten or fourth and eight, but it gets wiped out by the pass interference. Now he's going. Oh yeah, let's go. Jalen Hurts. He says, "Hey, this is gonna be probably my last pass of the day. I'm going out with the bang. Very well thrown here. I love this. I love this play." Rolling out to the right, keeps his eyes down the field, knows where he wants to go with the ball, and delivers a wide open pass here. Very well done. That's a great ball. That's a great ball. Where did he throw this one from? The 30? 35? About the 37. That's a good pass. I mean, that's, that ball's in the air for about 40 yards. That's a good ball. Well done. Way to end it off there. Alrighty, that's where we're going to leave it. Good by Jalen Hurts. Um, I would I would say, you know, maybe Bales on play is a little bit too much, but he's a rookie. This was his first action. Getting a full week reps with the ones this week it should help him out a lot. We'll still keep an eye on him for next week. Not sure how we feel about him just quite yet, but he was making some good passes there, so we give him the man credit. Now, do I think they're making the right decision? Yes. For this season, I think they're making the right decision. What we saw there by Jalen Hurts, some very good, also some not so good. Um, but uh, overall, through the touchdown pass, very well done. Now he did. Did he have an interception? Should we watch that? Did we did we cover that yet? No. Let's. All right. Let's finish here with the interception. A minute and fifty six seconds. This will be the last play. We'll close it out here. Um, Got to watch the interception. How bad is it? Is it his fault? One hundred percent. Was it tipped? So let's see what we get here. Alrighty, we saw the touchdown pass. This is garbage time anyway. Maybe trying to still come back. They're down fourteen. Two touchdowns. Okay, got hit as he was thrown. Okay, so he didn't make like a bad read or anything like this. This was him just trying to get the ball downfield a little bit more than what it was, but it gets kind of, his hand gets tipped, the ball gets tipped. It's unfortunate. Um, we might be able to get a nice little replay here. Yeah, let's see. Was it just tipped? Yeah, his arm going forward didn't didn't have enough on it. So yeah, we we can kind of write out this interception. Not not bad by him. Just arm going forward couldn't complete the complete extension of the arm going forward. Hand gets hit and the ball falls a lot shorter. So yeah, we're we're not blaming Jalen Hurts on that interception. So still decent by Jalen Hurts. Still very decent what we saw there.